Yo, welcome back. We're going to be going over the essences of power quest. This is an elemental god quest. Each of the elemental gods will drop an essence for their element. Once you have all four, you can complete this quest. Um, there are five rewards, and you can kind of just cycle through all of these, and you can pick whichever one you want. And we'll talk about how to do that um, here in a little bit. And if you're wondering how to get to this guide, go up to items, quest items, planes of power, essences of power right here. Um, once you do have all the essences, there is an escort you're going to have to do in Plane of Nightmare. It's kind of like a pre-flag type thing um, before you can actually do the final combine to get your rewards. And there's this aid Eno guy who is the guy you're going to be escorting. Um, he starts out right here, a little bit below the river. And you're going to have to spawn him by saying, um, Coolios, be my guide. And you have to do this at 10 p.m. in-game time. I don't know how much later after 10 p.m. it goes, but it starts at 10 p.m. based on what I saw. And we'll go over the video where I actually go through the escort so you can see what it looks like. And the place you're gonna have to stand at is right here, negative 530, positive 1685. And again, that's right here. And he's got four waves. He's got one here, 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 here. And then the end is where you do the final turn in to complete your, pre your pre flag. And we'll go over all that in a minute. Um, the waves are kind of as follows. You can uh, just scan this right now if you want, but I'll be going it over this in the video, like I said. And then you got the boss wave, the dream keeper, and the end reward here is tiny gold fist. And then once you have tiny gold fist, you'll be able to, to do the final combine. And uh, we'll go over all that as well in the video. So uh, yeah, let's get over to the video. I'm just gonna do a voiceover for this. This is the clip of me just starting the quest. And I'm over here by the creek. And I'm spamming Quilios Be My Guide right here. And you'll see, uh, there he goes. Aid Eno spawns right here by this tree. And he starts walking immediately. So you can actually do this in a DZ too if you want to. And pre-clear all the trash that uh, in his pathing area. Um, but I believe you can only do it one um, per day. So if you fail it, um, I think he will be spawnable again at 10 o'clock p.m. Um, the next in-game day. So if that's something you want to do, you can do the DZ option. And I would probably recommend that, honestly. I did it in open world, and once I got to like the third wave, I got a whole bunch of trash um, that spawned all at once. And I was probably fighting in one of the wave spots for probably like 10 minutes. Um, just, but again, I'm just four boxing this and playing time gear, and I didn't have very much um, DPS, so it took me a while to kill stuff. But here's the first wave right here. We got these four uh, tortured banshees, and you can see my goal here is just to get everything off of um, Aid Eno. It's, you know, or whoever, whatever his name is, as fast as I can. And you see here, this is the last banshee here. I kind of just cropped it out so you don't have to sit there and watch me kill everything. But I really was not in any threat of dying at any point during this whole thing. Um, the big concern is this that you don't you get everything off of um, a you know as fast as you can. So once you do that, I noticed he was uh, once I killed the first wave. I noticed he was just standing there, and I think it was because my uh, charm pet kind of kept him aggroed in some way. So you'll see I got a bird right here. Actually ended up having to kill my bird off. And as soon as I killed the bird off, um, he started uh, running again. So here, you can see right here, I killed it. And uh, now he finally started moving after I did that. So I think that's what bugged that out. So just a heads up, if you do have like an enchanter pet, uh, that may happen to you, something to think about. And I just keep following him along here. And I'm about to hit wave two. Uh, this is the uh, two Night Stalkers. Now these guys are level 60 and they were easy too, but they're a little bit higher than the rest of the mobs. But there's only two of them. And honestly, I just killed one and you'll see Aid Inu doesn't actually attack him, attack these Night Stalkers at all. And right here, he actually just starts walking off on his own. So I thought that was interesting. So I said, screw it. Um, I just memblurred um, the other Night Stalker right here since, he, since the Aid guy's not attacking it. You know, it's like, oh, I'll just memblur it. So I messed it and memblurred it and left it be. And, he, and then I just able to keep on going. So um, here we are. We're about to hit the uh, third wave. Looks like I maybe just messed something up with my cropping there. But um, yeah, so here's the third wave. And there's, what is it, five hobgoblins, I think, in this wave. And this is the wave where I was sitting here for like 10 minutes or so. Because I kept getting tons of ads that keep kept coming after me. And... Uh, um, having my enchanter was really, really nice because I was able just to mez everything, slow everything. And uh, yeah, it looks like I just kept, I cropped all that out. But you can just mez and uh, slow everything. And uh, you can just keep on moving after that. So just be aware that you may be fighting these for a little while with all the trash ads that show up. 
And this here, this is the fourth wave. And you just kill all of those. There's four banshees, three bats. Let's go back for a minute because I was kind of talking over that a little bit. So you'll see there's four banshees here and there's three, four bats, three or four bats. How many bats are there? One, two, three. I think there's a fourth one right there. So it looks like a total of eight mobs. Um, yeah, so this is, these are just part of the wave. So just try to get everything slow and mess and keep everything off of eight, you know, as fast as you can. And after you kill this fourth wave, fourth wave here, this is the last mob. Um, he actually stands around for a little bit. And um, I noticed he started attacking me. I must have accidentally attacked him at some point. But if this happens to you, you can membler him. So that's actually another reason to bring in Enchanter. Because um, otherwise you're going to either have to like run out of the zone and possibly bug out the event. Or you may fail in some way if he gets aggroed on somebody. So make sure you don't aggro him, especially with... Uh, AE spells and things like that. So he sat around for a few minutes, and then um, after that, this Dream Keeper spawned at the same spot that the Wave 4 spawns at. And this thing is incredibly easy. Uh, it, I think it hit for like five or 600, and it's slowable. So this is gonna be an easy kill for you guys. Really nothing to worry about here. And you'll see we about have it dead. And then after this dies, he'll stand around for like another minute or two. And then he will start walking towards the uh, towards the plane of tranquility zone to zone out. And once you do kill this name, make sure you loot this uh, strand of nightmare right here, like I did. And you're going to actually turn this into aid, you know, Inu or whatever at the uh, last part. So you'll see down here. He'll if you look at the website, you'll see the emote he asks. He actually asks for this strand. He goes, "Give me the strand." And once he's here, standing there. You can give him the strand, he'll despawn, and you'll see now I have a, a tiny gold fist in my inventory. So at this point, uh, you're done with the escort, and you can come up here to the top of the library and talk to this councilwoman, Kishura, and I say, what essences of power? There we go. And then it gave me this four slot container. And I was trying to make some room here. I figured out I didn't have any room, so I crop it. There we go. We got some room. So now you can put all four of your essences into the container you got, which is called a sacred bowl. Then you hit combine, and you'll get power of the planes. And this is your final turn-in item. You can give this back to Councilwoman Kashara, and she will give you a reward. And then once you have the reward, you can just cycle through all of them and just pick out the one you want. So that's pretty much the whole quest. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please make sure to like the video. And please subscribe. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.